All right, we're here with Todd Robinson after the alumni game here in Muskegon tonight. T. Rob had uh, two goals and two assists. Um, a little about T. Rob, he was here for three championships, 2002, which he was playoff MVP, and had the game-winning goal in overtime to give us the cup in 2004 and 2005. He's had 15 over 1,500 points in his pro career. Um, Robbie, how much fun was tonight? Oh, I had a blast. The best thing is getting to see all my old teammates and, and hang out and reminisce about the old days. And you know, we have some of the older guys, McClay and Nimsy and Stevenson, on the bench too. And you know, they're talking. It's just a great time. And then you get to play against some of the guys we grew up idolizing. So we had a great time, and it's for a great cause also. And uh, you know, it was a good turnout tonight, and we're you know, it, it was a, it was a fun time for us. Um, playing in Muskegon, you made this your home. What made you stay here so long? Well, I liked it from day one. I mean, Rich Crown brought me in here and I had a great time. The next year we won and, you know, after that I met my wife, you know, a few years later and she's from here. I have two beautiful daughters, go to school here and, you know, I just love it. Um, now you're assistant coach for Lumberjacks. How's the transition been from playing to coaching? Uh, it's different for sure. It's, it's challenging. I mean, I enjoy it so much. I mean, they say once you can't play anymore, you coach. So. Uh, I'm trying to do that and you know it's a learning process too. We have a great organization, great people to work with and um, you know it's been a positive thing for me and I'm happy to be back in Muskegon. What's been the easiest thing for you to learn for coaching? I think uh, relating with the players is something that I you know I just played last year, just finished up so I still have a lot of uh, you know insight for the game and realize where the kids are coming from so I'm trying to use that to uh, motivate them and, and get the most out of it. What's been your biggest challenge in the transition? Um, it's it's hard when you're sitting there and you're telling guys what to do and, and trying to make a difference whether you know before I could go out there and play and, and make a difference so it's it's kind of tough watching trying to you know teach the other guys to do that and, you know that's a process that I'm, I'm going through right now and uh, you know it's it's a challenge but it's fun also um, what are some of your top moments in your career here in Muskegon you say well winning the championships is the big, you know the biggest thing and, you know the winner here in OT Against Elmira is, you know, something you'll never forget. I mean, the roof almost came off in this building, and uh, you know, people still talk about it. I get chills when I think about it. So, uh, you know, that's probably the biggest, the biggest hockey moment. All right, thanks, Kira. Oh, thanks for having me.